and I'm in the masonry trade. I got into the trade because um, I realized waitressing wasn't for me when I was 16 years old. So when I was 17, I started working for Alpha Masonry with my father. And um, so I've been working on a lot of restoration projects. My father is so happy that I've actually carried on uh, the tradition of being in the restoration business and being in masonry. So absolutely, everybody's very proud. What's important to me in life is loving my career and making sure that I'm happy when I'm doing eight hours a day instead of going to a nine to five job that I hate and just being miserable the whole time. So definitely having a career of your choice. On my free time, I love to bricklay, I tell you what. <laughs> Getting my red seal is very important to me because it means that I have a set wage all across Canada so I actually have the opportunity to go and work wherever I want in Canada. First female bricklayer in Manitoba and I didn't let anybody stop me or the guys who said I couldn't do it stop me, right? I absolutely think if there's something you want to do and you're passionate about it, give it your all. I've worked actually on the legislative grounds. I've worked on the new um, Redwood College Culinary Arts building. Actually, we did the facade restoration last summer, which was absolutely amazing. I got had to work in, um, I've also done like plaster interior work for the Metropolitan Theater, and I've worked on um, the archives building. I've worked, oh my goodness, I could keep going. My passion is the restoration of historical buildings. I would say that the trades are so much fun. You get to work with your hands, you get to physically be active with your day, you get to create things and know that what you're creating is helping build a city and build houses and build like businesses and buildings where people are gonna go and work in. And what I love about my job is that I know at the end of the day when I turn around, that's gonna be there for the next 100 years.